L.R., the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country mistakenly thinking they are in the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic when the sad reality is the fact that they are barely into the first wave. The reason for the confusion is the gross ineptitude displayed in dealing with the first wave. Our president is in the midst of his re-election campaign and fears the continuing pandemic will hurt his chances. So he has declared everything is under control and it's safe to reopen the country. It's important to remember that the president has a chance of avoiding prison if he can win his re-election. So he has a very vested self-interest in the outcome of the election. It is clearly completely unsafe to reopen the economy. Every state that has tried has endured disastrous results. Republican politicians are the worst source of information about the pandemic. They are facing the upcoming election with the very real possibility of losing control of government for several generations. Pay no attention to their desperate attempts to make reality go away. Instead, rely on the scientists who say we are looking at 12 to 18 months of shutdown to be rid of the pandemic. They also say there are three actions that will be instrumental in minimizing infections and thereby minimizing deaths. Maintain social distancing guidelines. Wear a mask in public at all times. Wash your hands like your life depends on it because it does. These actions will help ease the destruction of the second wave when it comes, and it is definitely coming. Normally, the second wave is much worse than the first because the aforementioned precautionary actions have been abandoned too early. No one is saying it will be easy to deal with this terrible situation that is forcing a total change in American society. It will be damned hard, but the alternative is much harder and also much deadlier. Use common sense. Limit your exposure by staying home as much as you can. Completely avoid bars, restaurants, churches, movie theaters, and outdoor sporting events. Raise hell if your state tries to reopen schools before this is over. Any parent knows schools are historically a hotbed of every imaginable infection, and this one kills. Most importantly, remember on November 3rd, 2020, who is responsible for the pitiful job of handling this crisis and send every Republican running for any office into political oblivion. You can reach me at the liberal redneck at gmail.com, and you can visit live with me and my very talented colleagues every Friday at noon central for our weekly wrap-up on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck. Thanks for watching.